Welcome to Barbecue Food For You, the Backyard Barbecue Show. I'm Jason King. Recently, I was watching an episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, number 1120, where Joe explains how he cooks the perfect steak at home. Today, I'm gonna try my best to recreate it so more people can give it a try and easily understand the barbecue lingo that he was talking. To me, it's very easy. To some people, it might seem like a foreign language. So hopefully the video helps put everything together. I'll put a link in the description, time-coded, to the episode where he talks about the steak so everyone can go check that out. I'm not stealing anyone's copyrighted content. A few little changes. Joe, as a pellet cooker, I'm gonna be using your standard barbecue and I couldn't find grass-fed butter. I'm kind of glad because I didn't want to see the price of it, but regular butter. Other than that, everything's the same with more flavor and it's easy to do. So let's get started. The steak I'll be cooking today is this gorgeous ribeye. To keep the seasoning nice and simple, I'm gonna be using a medium coarse sea salt, fresh cracked black pepper, and granulated California garlic. This is a thick cut of meat, so liberally season it. Do not be shy with the salt, pepper, and the garlic powder. Once you have it coated, take your hand and press the seasoning firmly into the meat, flip it over, and repeat on the other side. Be sure to get the edges and the sides as the steak and season it as well for maximum flavor. The barbecue I'm gonna be using is a Weber 22 and a half inch charcoal barbecue with hickory wood chips for added smoke flavor. To get the barbecue lit, I have a Weber paraffin wax cube at one end of the charcoal, just fire it up. To keep an eye on the temperature, I'll be using a Maverick Ready Check ET733. This is a great tool for cooking. One probe goes on the middle of the barbecue, showing your barbecue cooking temperature, and you place the other probe into the thickest part of the meat you're cooking to show your internal meat temperature. This is an RF signal. The other unit works from 300 feet away. It's a great tool to have around your house. Another way to check your steak's internal temperature is with a digital read thermometer. This is a Thermapen two second read, which is extremely accurate. 15 minutes in, taking a quick peek. This is for video purposes only. If you are cooking at home, leave your barbecue lid shut. I am only doing this so you guys can see on the video. Each time you open your lid, air flows in and the charcoal gets fired up, shooting your temperatures up. So if you're doing this at home, leave the lid shut. Half an hour in, here's another quick peek. Boy, she's looking good. The color on the outside is from the smoke sticking to the meat. You can see it's starting to get a little bit darker. The, the fat has a little bit of a brown color and the red is a little darker. But everything's going as planned. Charcoal barbecue's rocking away. Here we are with an internal temperature at 110 to 113 degrees. This is when you're, go you're going to want to get your high heat source ready. So I'm using a Weber chimney filled with more hardwood lump charcoal. Once the steaks reach an internal temperature of 120 degrees, it's perfect for me. And it's looking absolutely fantastic. Grab a plate, get the steak off the barbecue, remove the probes from the meat and the barbecue before cranking the heat up. We'll get the steak inside. Once you have the steak inside, tightly wrap it in aluminum foil and place it inside a cooler. This will ensure that it stays nice and warm, keeping the temperature rising internally on the meat. If you're using a gas barbecue, crank two or three burners or your sear zone up to get it nice and hot. Place the cast iron pan on the barbecue to preheat to medium high heat. If you're looking for a cast iron pan, Lodge is the only one I suggest made in America. Now, toss in the butter. A little bit flares up. Some of it splatters over and catches on fire. And this steak going in the sear sounds absolutely incredible. So take a listen.
sear the steaks for one and a half minutes on each side before flipping. Oh, look at that sear, that crust, the bark, absolutely delicious. The video is sped up here. It is a good idea to have a timer or a watch on hand just to keep an eye on the clock. You do not want to overcook your steak because you can always cook it more. Once it's overcooked, you're toast. Another minute and a half, get the steak pulled off the barbecue, back onto the plate, wrap it tightly with the aluminum foil and place it back inside the cooler, allowing it to rest for 10 minutes. This will keep the internal temperature continuing to climb so you get a nice, perfect, medium rare steak. Once the plate comes out of the cooler, watch your fingers because it is really hot. And look at that. That is a nice steak that I want to eat. <laughs> Here's a nice closer peek. The camera gear I got is not the best. The color's off a little bit, but it's YouTube. Real people making real videos. Nothing to hide here, folks. This is real deal here. Looks pretty perfect for the way I like my steak. And again, use this method to hit your desired internal temperature. This is shooting for 130 to 135, a medium rare. If you're looking to cook your steak a little more, just smoke it a little bit longer. Now time to get up close and personal. Take a couple slices really close so you guys can take a peek and really get a good look at it. My awesome lighting equipment's a little bit off, but it still looks delicious. Check that out. This is so tender, it's almost falling apart. You know you barely have to chew that. That is some good steak right there. Let me slice this in half so you can get a nice gorgeous peek. And if that doesn't look good, folks, Maybe you should order the chicken. Mmm. Now time for the real test. Steak is cooked perfectly. It's a nice crust on the outside from the sear in that pan. It's lots of extra juices. Mmm. Perfecto. Get a nice taste of the salt pepper and the garlic but none of it's overpowering just perfect thanks to everyone for taking the time to check this video out and i truly hope it helps people cook steak at home like joe rogan it's absolutely delicious if it's your first time here remember hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and come back for more delicious recipes if you like this content drop a little tip over at paypal Check out the awesome shirts I've created. I got I Love Barbecue and the Barbecue Food For You t-shirt available on Amazon. Don't know what I'm cooking next, but it's gonna be something good, so check it out. Thanks for watching. Jason King, out.